Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into the Capri Tools website. So over the last few months to still waiting to be released, I will have multiple videos of the Capri Tools website kind of breaking it down into sections. Kind of going through their lineup and everything, uh, talking about their awards program and all of that and I hope you guys enjoy. Keep in mind some of those videos may be a little bit out of date to where some new tools have been added since those were recorded or since they've been released to the public. but. They still have a great lineup, and if you guys are interested, go ahead and check out those videos. Also, keep in mind, I will have many Capri tools and other tools that I suggest linked down in the description under the tools and tools continued link for you guys. But today, we're going to be looking at a few new items that Capri has listed on their website. So one thing I wish companies Capri and Tekton would do is to kind of create a new tools section. It just makes it really easy. Um, maybe things that they've added in the last six months or that year or any you know any something like that to where it's easier to show newer tools that have been recently released within the last six months or whatnot um, but I'll deal with it uh, both Capri and Tekton have amazing websites very easy to use both great rewards programs I've had really good experience with Capri tools and will continue to purchase their products and share my thoughts with you guys but today we're going to be looking at some of their um, new products so first up is the premium detailing cart with smart onboard storage so for a lot of you mechanics and stuff uh, DIYers this is first thing the biggest con of all of this uh, is the price this is very expensive for a rolling seat whether you do a lot of work or not, that's pretty expensive, even if it's really good quality. I have my Canix stuff, and those are by far the best rolling stools or rolling accessories I've ever used, um, and they don't e even come close to this price. I think the most I spent was around $150, um, so this is almost two times the price. Now, granted, there are some things on here that I find very, very nice. Um, this stool is definitely very well built, has a lot of good thought process behind it, and it is built very well, and I like the design. Unfortunately, I don't like it at that price point, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let me know your guys' thoughts. So for $300, no, maybe around $150, most likely. Uh, especially buying it from the Capri Tools website, you get that rewards of 5% that you can then later spend on other things but this just pushes it up past what I would spend on a rolling stool. Even if I spent every day on my rolling stool, <laughs> I don't know if I would justify it. Because for this price, unfortunately, I would probably just get a five drawer service card and put it next to me on my stool, next to me while I'm working on my stool <laughs> with a lot more storage. So unfortunately, the price to what you're getting just doesn't, justify itself in my in my case my thoughts um, so here you have a front drawer you have a slide on each side it's just kind of demonstrating uh, here what you can put inside of it it also has a portion right here that holds bottles um, it's just kind of a flat tray that sits up there with a lip on the side you have a bolted on uh, cup or bottle holder the thing that is really nice not only is the framing of this seem very durable and well built the casters look nice and that cushion i mean i feel like you could probably sit on that thing all day long and be comfortable you know some of the cheaper um, stools you would sit on and after about 10 minutes of sitting on it um, it's basically flattened and it just feels like you're sitting on a piece of plywood where this has definitely got some cushion to it and it's got a backrest with it which is really cool i know they they label this as a detailing cart so this would be used a lot while um, cleaning wheels and lower body portions of the car this isn't something you're going to sit on to wash the entire car but you know lower trim pieces wheels tires things like that fender liners all of that you could use so if you do a lot of detailing this is probably pretty nice uh, and if you're a mechanic it definitely has its uses as well with all this storage and the, the mobility of it all and then the other cool thing is it, okay so it's got one inch steel tube framing and then it's also got two drawers not just one on the front a larger one on the front but you also have one on the side as well you have four three inch swivel casters two front casters are lockable 
to keep you steady. And then here is that dual cup holder that I was talking about and that extra thick padded seat, 16 inches by 12 inches. And you also have the backrest, which is a nice touch. The capacity of this stool is 450 pounds, so it can definitely hold quite a bit. Um, so overall, I think it's a good product. I think it's very well built. I'm not sure how well built the drawers are. When I see it here, looking at it, that handle looks kind of thin. The, the gauge material looks a little thin, at least for the drawer portion. The rest of the seat seems very heavy duty. But once again, biggest con being the price point on this uh, stool. Here they have the multi-angle gas soldering iron kit. I actually picked up this set and it's fantastic. So I used to have a Weller soldering iron and that thing was like a brick. It was huge, heavy, and all you could do with it was the soldering iron portion. And it was also plug-in. It wasn't cordless or butane or anything like that. Um, so I had to have it plugged in and it was big and bulky and heavy. And then I got a little torch, just a miniature mini torch, nothing like this. Um, and it is garbage. So the thing that's nice about this, not, it's very versatile. It's got multiple different functions. So you'll see here, uh, not only as a soldering iron, but the unit can be angled at three different positions, five degrees, 45 degrees and 50 degrees. I don't know if that's right. 45 and 50 degrees. I think maybe 90 degrees. I think that's a mistake on their part. It has adjustability for the flame. You can use it as a hot blower, a torch, um, for soldering, for cutting. I mean, it's got a lot of different attachments, 45 to 60 minute burn time. So here you can kind of see some of the attachments. It's got a sharp knife. It's got different beveled edges, um, and a blade. I'm not sure exactly what you would use some of these for. I don't know if I really have a use for some of these. Uh, the knife would be nice. Um, they show other butane torches with this called a hot knife. Basically, that's what you're getting here uh, with this attachment. You're able to cut through fabrics without fraying the edges, ropes, and things like that, which can definitely come in handy. So I thought that was kind of a cool attachment. You got the deflector here. You can work with it as you're soldering, or you can use it to keep heat away from certain items. So that's always a nice attachment. Here you can see it used as a hot blower and the micro torch, the different angles here. Yeah. So 545 and 90, not 545 and 50. The adjustability for the flame setting, the tank with the window on the bottom, and then it does have a safety lock. You have to push the little button up top, pull the trigger down, and it starts it or ignites it. Um, and then the blue button below it is actually a slide that while you hold that down, you can slide that over and it will lock it on. So I can set it in the stand and solder without having to hold down the trigger or anything like that. And then it comes with a little cleaning sponge that you can put some water in so you can clean your tip and then it comes with another little bin to hold any parts or anything like that or hot tips if you exchange the tips on it or anything like that it comes with a little bit of solder it's a nice full little set hundred dollars not bad at all um, obviously amazon has a lot of super cheap sets but i've dealt with super cheap and as i've also dealt with a well-known brand but just an old version and I, <laughs> I didn't want to get another one like that and i didn't want to go cheap again so this is definitely a good option i'll just quickly show it to you guys so here's what we're working with nice little eva foam organizer this is actually a magnetic stand so you can set it on anything you want it's got a magnet on the bottom and then it holds the unit here right like that so it's really nice it's got a protective cover over the top as well and then to make the tip adjustments it's super easy you just unscrew this right here and then this portion comes apart and you can install whatever tip you would like and then here's your little organizer and your solder so all around a really nice little set super glad went this route Quality seems really good, and uh, I'll be doing a video on this as well. We'll just solder up some wire. I'm not sure if I'll be cutting any fabric or trying to find uses for these other things, but I'm glad I have it just in case I do need it. But definitely finishing up the, the last little bit of wiring that I have on the Camaro, uh, this will definitely come in handy. There's a better image of uh, my set, so it's probably a little bit easier to see on the screen than it is to see through my camera, everything that's included and then a one year warranty on the product as well. Last up, we are looking at the electrician scissors, which I thought 
be very nice. I have medical shears that I use in the shop that are fantastic because they can cut through almost anything. Um, but I can definitely see how this can be handy. There have been multiple times where I've tried to cut something, um, whether that be with cable cutters or um, shears or whatnot, where I had to put a lot of force on it. And it, sometimes it can be very uncomfortable and sometimes pretty dangerous. Um, but this they've designed very well. It definitely seems heavy duty. You have a couple different blade styles up top for cutting larger cables, such as zero gauge. And then you have a uh, sharper serrated portion or a serrated portion up front for the finer cutting of smaller gauge wiring. And then you also have crimping portions for a couple different styles of terminals here. And then you have stripping portions here, I think for 14, 16, and 18, 12, 14, 16. We'll look it up real quick. Uh, so a very nice versatile handle. There you can kind of see the different uses of it and you can definitely get some force behind this. So there you can see the serrated blade up top in this portion and then the larger portion down here for cutting that bigger gauge wiring such as zero gauge and stuff like that um, built-in wire stripper for 12 14 and 16 gauge and then here you can kind of see a closer up image of the crimping portions for the two different styles and then it does have a clip on it or a holster which i did not know so that is really nice so it's got a little plastic shroud for around the blades and it clips on so that's really nice and it comes with a guaranteed lifetime warranty so nice little addition and this product is going to run around 35 i believe yes 35 dollars. so a good price on those especially if uh this is something that you you would use quite a bit i definitely think they're going to be built heavy duty and i think they'll last quite a while so let me know your guys thoughts that's it as far as the new products section on the Capri Tools website. I wish they would kind of expand on it, kind of add some of the things that they've added in the last six months or so. But overall, I'm glad they at least do have this section. It's always nice to check out the Capri Tools website. They do their originals where they, they select individuals to kind of run a story on, tell you about them um, and all of that. I was included a couple months ago, which I am very grateful for. So thank you so much for that. But they do some awesome stories. There's some awesome people on there. So go ahead and check that out. But here you can kind of see some of the previous people that were mentioned. And then here's the story that they are running now. So if you guys enjoy it, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure to check out the Capri Tools website. Also, I'll have many other tools linked down in the tools and tools continued link for you guys. And uh, Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.